Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest trends, news, and innovations from thought leaders like this guy in the digital infrastructure space. And we are coming to you live. That's right, Tom. We are live at Data Cloud USA in the Lone Star State of Austin, Texas. And I have a new friend. Just met uh, Tom uh, just about, what, about 30 seconds ago, but had a really great conversation with his sister yesterday because we are all born and raised Hoosiers uh, from Indiana. So this is going to be the best interview that I do all day. Tom, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Technically, I'm a Boilermaker, <laughs> being a graduate of Purdue, but the Hoosier welcome is definitely yeah, thankful. And, and, and I'm a Ball State chirp chirp. You know, you, yeah, you, chirp, you, you, chirp, you know all right. about us. Um, but okay, so uh, really clear, this is Tom Donkers. Tom is the founder and CEO of Cognitive. Tom, I know all about what it is that you do, but our viewers might not. Why don't you tell them a little bit about what Cognitive does? Sure. Thank you so much for having me again. What we do is we apply evidence-based UVC with smart-enabled IoT mm -hmm. to help clean things, if you will. In the data center world, like a lot of places, they have a, a, a tremendous cooling need. Mm -hmm. So if we place the appropriate amount of UVC on coil in the HVAC, we will reduce the energy, reduce the water consumption, allow the things to get cooler faster. And we enable that with our IoT sensors, which we kind of term that as automating the hygiene process. Uh -huh. So we, we do that a lot for food processing facilities and healthcare facilities. And when uh, a friend of mine, Jim, was telling me the, the needs of the data center world, that they have a tremendous burden from an energy standpoint, mm -hmm. I felt like this was a really good industry for us to attach onto. No, I can I can dig it. I, I would also love some automated hygiene of my own. <laughs> yeah. But look, and do not let me oversimplify this at all. But as I understand it, um, the application in the in the data center world would mean a, a cleaner air being pushed through the existing air handlers and filtration, therefore being uh, using less energy to actually move that air. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. You know what we do and. I have to actually give credit to my chief science officer, who is a practicing radiation oncologist, Dr. Carl. Uh, we we, we come up with what's called the therapeutic dose window. And that dose, if applied appropriately, well, you're actually adding a little bit of energy to save a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that we talk about with the automated hygiene is, well, why would you want to do this? Well, it's kind of the last place someone wants to climb up and in the HVAC. <laughs> I and, hadn't thought about clean. the proximics of this. Yeah. 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 So uh, reduces labor and, and, and reduces chemicals, actually. So it's something we call the sustainable ROI mm -hmm. when we're talking to uh, the different buyers mm -hmm. out there. And, and we're, we're, we're doing a lot of education. We want to make it as simple as possible. It's really just placing light with a couple of IoT-enabled sensors in the appropriate places and you know, watch the energy savings happen. You know, I find it uh, interesting and maybe even a little ironic that you're using all of this technology that is being enabled by the data centers whose air you are ultimately helping to clean. It is funny. I, I recently found out that the cloud is actually a real place. It is. So. It is. It is. And you're cleaning the air yeah. where the cl cloud ex uh, exists. Right. So we're, we're cleaning the air and, and it's full of water and yeah. uh, it's full of you know, uh, electronics. Uh, so uh, we're learning and, and, and the, the data center world is uh, learning, uh, especially with the advent of AI. We were listening to somebody yesterday talking about immersion cooling oh, yeah. and, and the challenges are ours with they have to have a, a certain micron filtration level, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. kind of usually a good cue like, hey, we're get in, co get cognitive involved. <laughs> so so we're, we're looking to uh, educate the market and do, yeah. do so in the, the evidence based way. And and just kind of help the infrastructure grow. Yeah, your seat uh, in this conversation became immediately obvious to me, especially as new data centers or kind of future forward construction uh, techniques for data centers are going to need to accommodate these kinds of very innovative ways of 
uh, reducing carbon footprint, uh, uh, reducing energy consumption and all these other things. So uh, it's truly fascinating stuff, you know, coming from a lot of times we will we will see uh, some of these innovations start in our industry and then ultimately go out to the verticals. And you started with those verticals and said, hey, you know what? The data center industry could probably use this as well. Yeah, everybody's faced with those similar challenges, especially now with the 2025 uh, SEC reporting of ESG requirements. Yeah, yeah. And we organically just did that. Yeah. And so we're giving them the data that's going to be needed just to meet those things. That are, so we're, as subject matter experts in that field, uh, we're looking to help them out with those and, and help them actually perform the measurements that are going to make a true impact in a greener future. You did that without anybody telling you to. <laughs> we did. We, <laughs> Our, our, a lot of our customers are food processing yeah. customers and other things where we're not adding any chemicals and we're trying to reduce the chemicals, yeah. reduce the energy and water and maintenance associated. And, and they, they, they can't ship out their strawberries with salmonella. They, yeah. they, can't, they can't supply those things. These are you know, highly regulated. So we organically knew exactly kind of what to do yeah. and just kind of vertically moved. So. Amazing. Tom, thanks so much for talking with me today. I appreciate it. Thanks for it. having me. You, I appreciate it. You bet. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Stay happy and healthy, and we'll see you soon.